I think there's a lot of you guys still out there who really are not firm believers in thinning out your fig tree. And I want to just touch on a couple points and actually do a little bit more thinning on this particular fig right here and maybe a couple others because I'm going to go around the, the potted fig orchard today and actually do quite a bit of thinning. There's even some in-ground trees that I want to do some thinning on uh, because a lot of these fig trees guys just put out too many new shoots. And because they put out so many new shoots, they like to grow every which way at every location and it's just not really that conducive for a higher production. So by thinning out some of the shoots, we're then getting and directing the energy towards the shoots that actually will fruit for us this year. And you can see on this particular tree, I have one, two, three, potentially a fourth one here if I leave this on, um, five, six, seven new shoots that are doing quite well and should fruit for me at some point this season. So um, I think that's a pretty decent number. This is a younger tree and maybe I should limit this to six and I could actually take off a number of these, but it looks like the tree is actually doing pretty well in terms of getting itself uh, the right thickness, the right vigor on these new shoots because I'm looking at closely at some of the buds on these shoots and it looks like a number of these, the thicker ones particularly, are more mature, more advanced, and they actually will fruit for me this year. However, if you look closely, some of these shoots down here are starting to try to leaf out as well. And they're putting out leaves. And this is just wasted energy that's being stolen from the branches that are going to be the, the main branches for production this year, the fruiting branches. So I'm coming in here and I'm just taking off a number of these shoots that's one two three four five six i'm going to take this one off here it's quite small seven and i think that's pretty good for now i may leave this and come back to it at a later date in the season but that's then basically getting the the growth where we want it the vigor where we want it to then set this tree up to be more productive this year and let's look at another tree here that we can do because um, it's just really good examples. Some of these branches, for whatever reason, you can see this one here wanted to grow and it just decided, you know what? I'm not really gonna put out all that much growth this year. And as a result, the branches next to it, this one down here and this one on the right are getting that dominance. They're getting that growth. This one somehow got interrupted and it's probably not gonna fruit, isn't gonna grow that much so I could, if I wanted to, take off this particular bud, but there's some nice leaves here and this is good photosynthesis, so I'm not really gonna touch it, but like here's another example. This particular bud is just now forming. This isn't gonna do anything. Why leave that on your tree? Um, same thing with this tree right here. If I can get you guys a good angle on this one. Let's see if we can do that. Excuse the camera work, <laughs> sorry guys. But here's another decent example of a tree that just needs a little bit of assistance from us in that it put out some nice shoots. I've already actually thinned this out, but you can see, look, here's another branch right here that's forming. We don't need that. Another one back here that we don't need. There's one back here that's lower because the lower growth is usually the one that's getting suppressed. And as you can tell, they're just really not going to do much. So if they're getting that vigor that's being suppressed, why keep them on the tree? Here's the lowest branch on the tree, if you guys can even make this out back here. This one has three new shoots on it. There's no way that this is going to fruit. It's really thin at this point of the season. See how thin this is compared to something like this? It's almost double the diameter here. The thicker stuff is what's going to fruit. The thinner stuff is going to take a lot longer. Now, I want to have an interesting little distinction here because thinning is a, a process, a technique that we do to encourage fruiting to happen. So if we are, as an example, we want fruit, we need to be thinning, right? But if, let's say we don't want fruit, let's say we actually want our tree to grow and grow and grow, maybe, Maybe this particular tree right here, because it's so young and all the trees along this, this line here are very young, 
I'm gonna probably encourage some of these younger trees just to leaf out in every which way direction and maybe not actually have the fruit set that I want. So you could kind of do this in two different ways and two different approaches, right? You could actually not thin as much and the more growth that we have up here is gonna to correlate to the more growth that we have down in the pot. And this is gonna set you up for a tree that is really well rooted and getting to that maturity a lot quicker so that maybe in a future year, you guys can actually have a higher fruit set and maybe sacrifice some fruits now to have something better in, the, in a later time. So there's a number of these trees along this, this line that I'm gonna probably let them go a little bit, let them root out a little bit in their pots because we just put them into something larger. This one specifically was a one gallon size pot put into a 10 gallon. So it's got a lot of room to grow now. And uh, you know maybe I would be better off letting it do its own thing. Now, the, I have some trees in the ground, by the way, that are quite young. And I think it's probably a better technique to let those in-ground trees really just get them as rooted out as possible to that more mature size as quickly as possible. Let them send up some suckers in those first two years, because even in the first two years, you're just really not gonna have the most fruit set um, on any fig tree. So really in that year three and year four, that's when you're kind of hoping that you get this right and you have the right fruit set that you're, you're looking for. So in the meantime, you know, it's probably a better idea. Let's do some feeding a little bit heavier on these younger trees. Uh, let's let them grow in every which way and not fruit nearly as much. And you're probably going to be better off in the long run. But I wanted to include that little important distinction and kind of show you guys my thought process because yeah i'm going to go around and, and thin out some of these i'm going to do some pinching today as well it's may 23rd but uh you know there's also a different way of approaching this as there is with everything in gardening there's always many different ways to accomplish the same thing and i think that's really what the beauty of this whole hobby is so thank you guys here for watching this one if you enjoyed this video Subscribe and also check out our blog, figboss.com. It's looking beautiful. I'm so proud of how it looks. We got our videos on there, our podcast on there, our consulting services on there, our blog is on there. Uh, we're trying to direct a lot of traffic and have as many blog posts and great information there as I can. So thank you guys so much for, for watching. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Take care.